You may have heard on the news recently that Apple is killing SSDs. There's two reasons for this, and about four years ago I upgraded my MacBook Pro to an SSD, and it's dead now. So, what mistake did I make? And when I made that YouTube tutorial four years ago, did I cause thousands of other people to make the same mistake? That's class action lawsuit material. I think I need to fix my mistake, and hopefully I can get this video out to those thousands of people that watched my previous YouTube tutorial. So what are the two methods of planned obsolescence that Apple is using to kill SSDs? The first method. In 2019, I installed this SSD into my MacBook Pro, and four years later, in 2023, it's dead. The reason for this is I forgot to turn on trim. That's my mistake. But in Windows, you don't have to turn on trim because Windows detects that it's an SSD and automatically turns on trim. In Mac OS, they detect whether the SSD is a first-party or a third-party SSD, and they will disable trim if it's a third-party SSD, such as this Western Digital SSD. But if it's a Apple SSD, or if it's an OWC SSD, then Mac OS will automatically turn on trim. So it's my mistake, I didn't realize that I needed to turn that on, and it's my mistake for making a YouTube tutorial that omitted that information that I didn't realize I needed because of my uh, naivete <laughs> of trusting Apple. So I'm sorry, and I hope that you can go into your SSD settings, go into your recovery mode, and turn on trim for your SSD now, before it dies, like my SSD did. My SSD died when I started writing a lot of footage to this SSD, and the reason I started writing a lot of footage to it was because I was recording DV footage from a mini DV camera, tape footage from the 1990s that my mother wanted me to recover, and I was writing it to this SSD, and in the middle of writing that gigabytes and gigabytes, hundreds of gigabytes of footage to this SSD, it died. And this is after four years of usage on this SSD. I don't use this MacBook a lot. I would say four years of light usage. Really, it was three and a half years of usage, and these SSDs are rated for tens of years, decades. It's pretty sad that this SSD is dead already. So that's my fault, but it's also kind of Apple's fault by purposely turning off trim on third-party SSDs and turning on trim for first-party SSDs. That's kind of shady. That's planned obsolescence. I don't appreciate that behavior from Apple. So I'm talking about trim a lot, but what is trim? Trim is wear leveling. It's a word for making sure that all the nodes that are stacked onto this SSD are being worn down the same amount, rather than just wearing out the, the number one node over and over again, just writing and reading and writing and reading from this one node until it gets worn out, and then the whole SSD is trashed because this one node got worn out even though all these nodes are still perfectly fine. It's very necessary for SSDs, whereas it's something that you don't need for hard drives. So in all likelihood, I could format this SSD and stick it in another laptop, you know, may maybe do something with it, but it wouldn't be a very reliable SSD because it's going to have this one little square over here that's all worn down, and every time it tries to write something to it, it will just end up corrupted files. I pretty much have to throw this away. I mean, recycle this. So that's... Thanks, Apple, for causing more e-waste. <laughs> anyway, the second method that Apple uses to destroy your SSDs is a little more complicated, a lot more complicated, okay? Apple likes to pride themselves on not needing as much RAM for their OS, being more efficient with their usage of RAM, which is great. But the method that they do this is they will take any information that you're maybe 
using, but it's on a window that's in the background. You're not currently accessing that window. They take that off of the RAM and they put it onto the SSD so that when you click on that window, it can be easily accessed and put back onto your RAM, but you don't have to use as much RAM space for all the windows that are currently open on your desktop. So the only thing in your RAM is going to be windows that you're currently looking at, which I believe they started doing in macOS Mavericks. So the reason that this wears down your SSD is because macOS is constantly writing and reading information onto your SSD that would normally be read and read from your RAM on a Windows computer. This can cause gigabytes of data to be written to your SSD in a very short amount of time. If you're using your laptop regularly, you're writing gigabytes worth of data to your SSD. Now most SSDs have so much read write endurance that you're never going to be able to wear them out in your lifetime. But if you don't have trim enabled, then this is gonna be a serious problem. The whole SSD question from Apple is twofold. And I wanted to let you guys know because I did make a mistake in a previous tutorial. You guys need to know that you need to enable trim in your BIOS, which Apple doesn't call it a BIOS, but it's like recovery mode. Your disk management mode, you can go to disk management in your utilities and enable it. And that's what I'm gonna do after I get done fixing this whole laptop and reinstalling Mac OS and dealing with all that mess. So I'm sorry guys, uh, that's my bad. I shouldn't have made a tutorial that was uninformed. I shouldn't have misinformed you and I'm sorry for that. Hopefully I catch you in time to be able to enable trim. There's thousands of you. I just, I wanna apologize for that. Y'all have a great day, uh, good luck and uh, I'll see you in the next video.